Vertical farming allows farmers to grow crops indoors 365 days a year. Vertical farms use 95% less water than growing outside in a field. It means farmers around the world can grow things up to 150 different types of crops that maybe don't grow in the fields outside and to be able to grow those locally, eliminating the food miles associated with transporting produce from the other side of the world. Think of a vertical farm like a field. Cut the field up into trays of this size. They happen to be uh, 6.2 uh, square meters of growing area. Stack them up to 12 meters tall. Um, plug them into some green electricity and the farmer will be able to grow uh, in much the same way as you could select a track uh, on Spotify or on a jukebox. You can select a track to grow Asian leafy greens, to grow some basil. Um, over on this side, we've got some edible flowers. Wide range of crops, including baby trees. Certainly from a UK perspective, we see this as augmenting existing UK growing, but definitely uh, replacing many of the supply chains that are coming from much further afield. As we've seen during the time of the COVID pandemic, global supply chains have been stressed. Um, consumers are frustrated with empty supermarket shelves. Uh, consumers are frustrated when their lovely basil turns to mush in their refrigerator uh, within two days. Relocalizing food production will extend the shelf life um, and will provide an alternative supply chain uh, for both retailers and consumers alike.